Do you know who um, Amber Heard dated before Johnny Depp? Hopefully Elon I Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk. How crazy is that? Crazy. With his three baby mamas and nine kids. And allegedly, she has a kid with him. Allegedly. Really? Yes. These are the rumors. What? Yeah. I don't know. Th these, are, these are just the rumors. So, I want receipts. Yes. So <laughs> he here's the question for the audience is, you're out there and you're... You're at a random dance floor one day, mm -mm. and um, maybe you're in a small town in a quaint village in Spain. Quaint. And you're there just dancing the night away. You're doing the bachata. You're doing the, uh, the salsa, the salsa. merengue. You're doing your thing. Some gorgeous blonde shows up. She goes, hey, I'm down to dance. Boom. Hey, how you doing? What's up? You start dancing. Hey, what's your name? Hey, I'm Amber. Oh, nice to meet you, Amber. Uh, I'm Hector. Hey, Hector. How you doing? And you start dancing. Where do you? Where are you from? Oh, I lived in L.A. Cool. What are you doing here now? Oh, I'm just living here for the time being. Where are you from? Oh, this is my hometown. I'm in uh, Sevilla, España. That's where I'm from. Oh, we should get together sometime. All right. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. All right. Great. And you go home and you're like, oh, I met this girl, Amber. And you Google Amber. <laughs> and the picture of Amber Heard comes up. You're like, oh, that's the girl I just met. Yikes. Boom. You just got Andrew uh, Amber Heard in your life. Now, if you're that dude, <laughs> if you're that dude dancing in Spain, what do you do? Do you follow up mm. with Amber? Or do you just be like, nah, cut that bitch loose? Because we all know what happened with Amber Heard. Now, the reason that I'm giving this rhetorical question here mm. is because this exact scenario happened in a small town in España. Mm. So pull off this article right here. So we all know what happened with Amber Heard. She's reportedly now living in Spain with her daughter, which may or may not be Elon Musk kid. I don't know. Mm. Uh, locals in a town where she's seen partying and discussing her new life. Mm. Scroll down. We all know that she's a very pretty girl, yeah. uh, but she's been known to shit the bed from time to time. So um, she apparently is now living in uh, a small town in Spain, mm -hmm. renting a $3 million apartment, and uh, she's going under the assumed identity name of Calamity Jane, as opposed to uh, her American moniker, Amber Turd. But if you keep scrolling down, <laughs> you can actually see a video uh, of her. No, that's her. Oh. That's not it. Keep going down. Mm -hmm. You might have passed it. Of her dancing with a man she meets out there on the dance floor one day. I think that was it. And... Uh, is that it right there? Let's see if you can reload that. I don't know. But anyway, some dude rolls up, ask her to dance. They start having a nice time. Oh, here she is. Turn that volume up. In Spain. She's drunk in Spain, dancing with the homie. He don't know none the wiser. And they're pretty close right there. They're doing their thing. I mean, what is she supposed to do? No, live your life, girl. I get it. You know, people yeah. think you're batshit crazy. But if you're that dude, if you're... The dude watching Sawscast right now. <laughs> and like, you meet Amber Heard run. out on a dance floor in Spain. Yeah. Are you hitting that up? Are you trying to you trying to get the number? Are you trying to maybe follow up on a date? I don't know. I don't Joey, know. Joey, would you? You're a married man now. Yeah, I'm a married man, so I can't really Okay, you're not gonna Good answer, Angel. Joey. Angel, we you, need more you're, men what about like you, buddy? Joey. You meet Amber Heard on a dance floor? I got to tell you what guys. What would you do, Adam? Oh, I'm in. I know you would be. I'm in. <laughs> I know your ass would be. I'm in. You'd be like, come, 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 come. Guys, guys, <laughs> I've said this before and I'll say it again. Some of these girls out there, they look so good. They're great. They're fun. Mm -hmm. They're sexy. They're amazing. But there's a difference between renting a house and buying a house. Okay? <laughs> there's a difference between taking an Uber or buying a car and having a goddamn car payment. There is a difference. There's a difference between, as Drake says, here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, but there's also a difference between test driving a car and crashing it. Okay. <laughs> Listen. But where do the crashes happen proverbially? Okay, proverbially, you bring her home, she gets happen, pregnant. Well, Crash. Boom. <laughs> that, to me, the biggest concern, yes, that is a concern. Yes. That's why you need to wrap it up. When we just had Brad Lee, that guy's one-hit wonder over there. Yeah. But it's the marriage component. Mm. It's you're married to somebody, and they go batshit crazy, and they want half your assets. That, to me, is the scariest thing. Mm. Because as crazy as Amber Heard is, I'm sure she's a good mother. 
that's not a major concern. Yes, I do not want to white like knock up a crazy girl that won't let me see my kid. Like yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Right. But you ask the question: If I'm a random dude in Spain and I meet Amber Heard out on the dance floor, yeah, let's go have a good time. Mm. Now, what I know about you, uh, am I wifing you up? Hell no. But that's a message to all the only fan girls, sex worker types out there, all those chicks selling feet pics for money out there, <laughs> just doing their thing. Um, why are you? Why don't is the camera, the camera on, that, on right? me? I why is the camera on that? I'm just saying. There's a message there, and I think Amber Heard embodies the message. Guys, fellas, they'll take you down. They'll bring you down to Chinatown and all around and bring you back around. But they might not want to wife you up, okay? Because they say that, you know, women are concerned about a man's future, and a man is con concerned about a woman's past. Mm -hmm. So a woman with a past like Amber Heard, yeah. I totally understand why no one would want to ever marry her again. Mm -hmm. But if you're Enrique and you're out on the dance floor doing the fucking bachata out in España, live it up, Ricky Martin. Have la vida loca. Do your thing. But do you think? But that's not how you're gonna marry her. But do you think it would be the same if she married somebody who maybe is not making a lot of money, like a random guy in Spain? Like yeah. I don't. I don't think you're asking. Would she marry a random guy in Spain? I think that no, would... because I believe in the philosophy, the principle of hypergamy. She's gonna have a very hard time dating down after dating Elon Musk. She's gonna Musk have a hard time dating down. Depp. She's gonna have a hard time dating down. After you date an A-list or movie dating star. up, she's gonna no. have a hard time dating up. No, incorrect, Natalia Del Valle. I'm confused. She's gonna have a very hard time dating down. Okay, she's what is known as getting alpha widowed. Let me explain. Okay. Once you date the likes of Elon Musk, right? Once you date the likes. Of Johnny Depp. Okay. You think you're just going to go on a date with Bill over here? No, you're not dating Bill the bartender now. Why? You're, why? What? I, why? I'm saying based You've on her. You've dated the based richest on, based guy on in the world. Based on her situation. You've dated. Based on her the, situation. She has dated Elon Musk and Johnny Depp and she had this horrible divorce that went viral. Her likelihood to date somebody who is better and better then those people are very, very low. So she's probably wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if she settled for like a bartender that really loved her. Maybe he didn't provide for her. Natalia? Based on her reality. Natalia. Because what high value man is going to be like, oh yeah, I'm going to marry this girl. You know, I have all this money. She's probably going to take half of it no, if no, we get no, divorced. No, 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 no. Natalia, allow me for a sec. Okay, because I'm confused then. Have you learned nothing? I've learned. On I've sitting learned. side by side with but me who on would, who would date her? Who would date her? What do you mean who would date her? Who would date her and marry her? Exactly. So, that's my point, is okay. that her options are very limited now. Exactly. That's why she would go date a bartender, because no, they're no, no, so no, limited. No, 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 no. That, she'll go fuck a bartender. Okay. That's not who she's going to date and marry. Okay. Her dating pool is very small at this point. Once you're dating the likes of multi-billionaire, A-list, A-list, Hollywood actor Johnny Depp and Elon Musk. Yeah. You're not settling for less long term. Okay. You'll go bang Enrique on the dance floor, sure, to have your sure. get your rocks up. May I revisit the Tom Brady situation? We all know that I took heat, that I said, good luck, Giselle, finding the next Tom Brady. He's the the goat. Good looking, tall, handsome, good family man. Oh, he won seven Super Bowls. Uh -huh. Multimillionaire. Top G, the whole thing. Good luck finding the next Tom Brady. Now, what happened? Let's she went and found someone. Let me talk now, please. Pretty because <laughs> she went and she started banging the jujitsu instructor. Right. Okay. But that's but what she ended up with. Exactly. exactly. Who did she, quote unquote, end up with? The other gentleman who owns Fountain Blue. Who's A? Millionaire. No. Billionaire. Billionaire. Yeah, that's fine. But she doesn't have a past like Amber Heard. She, she didn't shit on someone's not, bed. Not, shh, <laughs> not. Here's where you do this. Here's, no, here's where you do this. Here's, no, no, no. Here's where you cover your mouth and I'm use your ears for, for a second. <laughs> Women do not date down. Long I mean, term. he's not a celebrity. Listen man. for a second. <laughs> you All you want to do is respond. Listen. <laughs> Chat. Everybody, do the monkey emoji. <laughs> You're to me, yes. Don't worry. Do the monkey emoji for Nat because 
She just is <laughs> waiting for her turn to talk, but she's not listening. <laughs> a woman like Amber Heard, who has dated Elon Musk and Johnny Depp, does not want to settle for less. She doesn't want to, why are you but talking she probably right will. Okay, you know, why are That's you talking? That's my point. You're, stop talking. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. She might have to because of her reputation. Okay. She doesn't want to. Okay. Okay? Fine. Giselle, you just proved my goddamn point, Natalia. I said, who the hell is... Giselle going to date. Yeah, but you can't compare Why Giselle. Are you talking? Why are you, <laughs> you talking? You can't compare Amber Heard. They're two different you, I, situations. I, gentlemen. <laughs> gentlemen. Like, they're two different women. Gentlemen. That's two different situations. Listen, I love women. <laughs> I love being around women. I appreciate my mom. Maury I appreciate said, my Jesus grandma. Jesus Christ. <laughs> just so, listen. You could tell them what to do all day long. Nat, just listen. <laughs> Nat, let me explain something. <laughs> I'm trying to explain something. <laughs> it's like, there's no face. winning. All you could do is, thank you for your opinion, Nat. Thank you. But you fellas out there, listen the fuck up. Okay? Learn some lessons what's going on here. You need to improve your <laughs> status because women will not date down. So if you want to get the baddest, best, hottest chicks, however you define that, right? I'm not even talking about outer beauty. I'm talking about inner beauty. Whoever you think is the best chick out there, you need to improve your game. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another. Or if you want to watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.